remain behind the pillars. Ladies and gentlemen, remain behind the chain, sir. It is requested that all visitors maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all times. Let's take a look at some of the reasons why you should never mess with the guard of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Now let's begin. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is one of the most heavily guarded sites in the whole world. A well-trained, carefully selected team of officers known as Sentinels are hand-picked and chosen to guard the site that holds the remains of the Unknown Soldier. These guards are always standing ready to defend the tomb from any harm. Look at this clip where the Sentinel kicks the water bottle thrown by one of the visitors. These old guards will mostly appear strong, silent, and composed, but this next clip proves that if you mess with them, they will react. During their ceremony, people aren't allowed to cross over the barrier into the plaza. If visitors break any rules, they're bound to immediately hear a tomb guard screaming at them from a distance, just like the one in this video. You would not want to find yourself on the opposite end of any angry tomb guard. The tomb guards also place a lot of emphasis on silence and respect during the ceremonial procedures. If any visitor is foolish enough to behave rudely at any one of these ceremonies, they'll likely hear an abrupt response calling for order. The tomb guards waste no time and reestablish order any time it seems to have been lost. It is requested that all visitors maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect. Behind and round. Sir, it is requested that you remain off the floors at all times. Sir, please remain behind the chair. Now, please stand for the ceremony. These guards won't even hesitate before aiming their rifles at anyone who's deemed to be a threat to the order around the tomb. Just take a look at how this tomb guard swiftly took action and went back calmly to his duty in an instant. Remain behind the chains of rail! Get behind the rail! They requested that all visitors remain behind the chains of rail! Respecting the solemn silence of the ceremony is sacred to the tomb guards. If you think about the kind of duty they perform, a lot of their commitment comes from honoring those who died fighting for their country. Therefore, it wouldn't be wise to be loud or disrespectful in a place where so much importance is placed on respect. Please stand for this ceremony! The guard in this clip was quick to mention that silence was to be observed during the ceremony. Remain standing for this ceremony. This clip shows a guard asking for silence to be observed during the ceremony that's taking place. It is requested that everyone maintains a level of silence and respect. If you ever plan on visiting during one of these ceremonies, it would be wise to follow all of the customs and practices these guards observe, or else there could be some unnecessary conflict. It is requested that everyone maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all times. A great deal of emphasis is placed on maintaining the sanctity of the tomb, but what's so special about the tomb is that it requires so much secrecy. After the events of the devastating First World War, the remains of an unknown soldier were brought back to the United States in 1921. Due to the lack of technical resources at the time, such as accessible dental records and DNA profiling, identifying soldiers was close to impossible at the time. 
As a result, the U.S. government approved the construction of a memorial at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia after the war. This would be the final resting place for all those soldiers whose bodies were recovered but could not be identified. The unknown soldier, however, was the first person who's laid to rest in this cemetery underneath a three-level white marble tomb covered in slabs made of stone. The guard identification badge that Sentinels carry is one of the hardest badges to acquire in the United States, only surpassed in difficulty by the military horseman ID and astronaut badges. The only way you can apply is if you're a member of the old guard and are applying to volunteer for the position of tomb guard. Being highly motivated and disciplined are key factors that help applicants vie for the job. But having a strong bearing in the military and having a soldierly appearance can also boost one's chances of being selected. All the guards who apply are expected to have a high level of commitment to the tomb. After being selected, the guards have an initial two-week training period where they guard the tomb and are taught the strict rules that come along with the job. All guards are expected to complete the training cycle consisting of five exhaustive tests that focus on ceremonial performance, uniform preparation, and general knowledge regarding the tomb. Once these skills are perfected, the guards are ready to step out and perform their duty at an extraordinarily high level. The trainees who pass from then on are referred to as tomb guards or badge holders by their fellow sentinels. It's evident that the tomb and its perceived sacred nature are the most important things for the tomb guard. It's not surprising to discover that the Tomb Guard Identification Badge is the only U.S. military badge that can be revoked for any action that may bring disrespect to the tomb. These guys don't fool around, which is the main reason why so many people are not qualified to be Tomb Guards. It's quite impressive. How do the Tomb Guards conduct themselves? Their level of discipline is really something else. It's not just their brooding appearance and stiff manners that give the tomb guards their reputation. Some urban myths surrounding the guards have been floating around for decades. According to one of these myths, the guards spend at least two years in barracks under the tombs as part of their training. During this time, the guards are not allowed to watch television, drink alcohol, or even swear, while it sounds credible given the seriousness with which they take their position. The myth has proved to be entirely bogus. Contrary to these myths, the tomb guards are able to indulge in a few drinks while they're off duty. Another rumor that spread like wildfire about the tomb guards was that a couple of officers reportedly remained on duty during Hurricane Isabel, a deadly hurricane that hit the area in 2003. While a rumor like this makes the guards seem almost superhuman, it was unfortunately fake. The truth is that the tomb guards were well equipped to deal with a variety of disasters, including hurricanes and even lightning strikes. Do you think the tomb guard is one of the coolest jobs in the military? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.